Welcome to Parkside Athletics Telling Our Story, where we will spotlight alumni, supporters, business partners, student athletes, and staff. We'll share their stories and talk about how they're being inspiring and impactful to UW Parkside and our community. I'm Andrew Gavin, the Director of Athletics here at Parkside, and today I am thrilled to put the spotlight on my favorite gummy bear company. In October of 2019, we announced a multi-year comprehensive partnership with Haribo of America. Highlighted by the creation of Haribo Courts, their support of Ranger Vision 2020, and their generous contributions to the Future Focus Scholarship Fund. Today, to help us discuss Haribo and our partnership, I am very pleased to welcome Babatu Short, the Vice President of Human Resources for, for Haribo of America. Babatu, thank you so much for joining me today to tell your story. Let's talk a little bit about Haribo as a company historically. And I know you're celebrating 100 years of delicious gummy bears, so this could be a long answer, but give us a little bit of an insight, Babatu, on why Haribo has seen a century of success. Well, I really appreciate the opportunity to do it. Um, and it is exciting. We're on the heels of 100 years of success. And so what I would tell you is Haribo is a 100-year-old, third-generation, family-led confectionery company that makes the world's most wonderful gummy bears, um, which, is, which is really fantastic. And at the core of the success of the company, um, it's been about the values. And, you know, you smiled about it being your favorite gummy bear company. Well, we, we certainly got um, some things to celebrate in our 100th year. But in terms of the core values, um, those values are centered around trust, pragmatism, and childlike happiness, which is a value I haven't seen in other organizations. So that's been really, really fun. And, um, you know, I can tell you that quality and staying connected to our customers and our consumers and being an important part of the communities that we're connected to in terms of where we live and where we work have been the secrets to the success of the company, um, which ultimately have given the opportunity to build on that 100 year legacy and beyond. When I first uh, had the chance to connect with Haribo and, and your leadership team, it was those core values that stuck out to me more than anything about that visit. And uh, I know Chancellor Ford felt the same way and a lot of parallels with what we value here at UW Parkside, as well as uh, you know our growth and looking into the next generation of our institution like you guys are with Haribo. So let's talk a little bit about that. Haribo announced in 2017 that you would be building your fir first North American factory here in Kenosha County. So talk a little bit about what was appealing to the Haribo ownership, the Haribo leadership team about putting roots down here in Kenosha. Wonderful, no, I appreciate that. Um, one of the things that's really, really important is that we view our associates as family, as a part of a truly connected uh, group of people that are part of our communities. And so, it, you know, the decision right down to selecting Kenosha at its core went into values, hardworking, honest, trustworthy people, and a place with a rich pool of talent. Those were all keys. Um, and the owner of our company, Hans Riegel, and I don't know if you know this, but the name Haribo, okay? The H-A is for Hans, the R-I is for Riegel, and the B-O is for Bon. And Hans Riegel is the name of the family member that leads the company. Uh, the other half of the company is actually a foundation. Uh, and it really focuses on contributing to the communities that we live and work in, very strong emphasis on education. So um, the educational institutions in Kenosha also played an important role in the decision making, clearly played an important role in our partnership with Parkside, uh, which is really exciting. Sarman's basketball coach, as, as you know, and everybody listening here knows, is, is, is Coach Regal, Luke Regal. So he and I have joked a little bit about that um, together as well as with members of your team. And he's trying to figure out how he fits into the family tree. Um, but nonetheless, we make sure he's got plenty of gummy bears around here. So in 2020, right. you guys you guys broke ground uh, on, the, on the site in Pleasant Prairie in Kenosha County. So what would you want to share with, with our community just about the, the updates and the timeline of that process? Sure, sure. I think that's a, a fantastic question. And, and quite frankly, um, it's one of our proudest things uh, to discuss. With our 100-year history, the Pleasant Prairie plant that we're going to build is the largest project in the history of the company in 100 years. So it's pretty clear about our commitment to a sustained growth, 
not only within North America, but specifically within Pleasant Prairie, specifically within the community that we're in and our contributions to the community that we're in. The other thing that I think is telling with respect to our commitment is we established a number of partnerships before there was ever even a sign up on the plot of land with education institutions, including Parkside, which is a fantastic banner, um, banner institution. Uh, and quite frankly, we're excited about the talent that gets developed with, within Parkside. We're excited about the alumni network, uh, and we feel like having a plant in Pleasant Prairie is, is definitely the right choice for us, and now is the right time to double down on that commitment. And part of that commitment to UW Parkside, we talked about Haribo Court, but numerous scholarships have been given out this year before you broke ground, as you alluded to, to our students yeah. to help them get to graduation day through that future focused scholarship fund. And athletics, we obviously have benefited and love the partnership, but that ability to impact our students on an individual basis, helping them financially get to graduation day has been an incredible part of Haribo's support. And I know you've talked about why you commit to education, um, but talk about how you see that linking to your, your needs here in Kenosha County from, from a talent pipeline perspective and, and why you value that educational pipeline. Absolutely, thank you. No, I, I think, um, so we're, we're very excited about uh, the scholarships that we have supported within Parkside and will continue to support. Um, but really the commitment in terms of education is about having healthy and vibrant communities. And we know that access to affordable, high quality education is a critical pillar. Um, certainly there's a long range game that benefits Haribo of America. In the near term, we have some meaningful internship opportunities, which is great, but having a vibrant community uh, with skilled talent that can become a part of the Haribo family, that's the longer game. Uh, and again, really, really important and we're excited about that. So. If you think about the facility, we're gonna be manufacturing gummy bears, right? So a lot of childlike happiness going on there, a lot of products going out the door, but it's all about career opportunities for the people to really have a meaningful career within our organization. And so it's going to be a self-sufficient and functioning manufacturing facility, which means it's gonna have all disciplines that you might imagine. It'll have finance professionals, it'll have engineers, supply chain professionals, human resources professionals, those who are in technical disciplines like engineering, um, operationally focused roles. And so um, that's exciting as well because it allows us to really engage in talent within all levels within the organization. And then if you think about our headquarters, which is in Rosemont, Illinois, just down the road, um, you know, think about the infrastructure that's there and it's everything I mentioned and more. Uh, which I think is, is fantastic. But within the next couple of years, you know, we're gonna add another roughly 385 associates, which means 385, uh, you know, career opportunities for people uh, to grow within our organization. Um, just one last oh, yeah. quick thing. Obviously, this is going to be a long-term partnership. The, the long-term commitment that Haribo has to our community uh, is unbelievable. In the short term, where can our students uh, and maybe graduates look for for some of those internship opportunities and, and some of those jobs that will be coming open in the, no in the near future? Sure, absolutely. So um, if you go to the, the Haribo U.S. website, uh, we post all of our internship opportunities there. Uh, there's also a posting site that distributes it much more broadly, places you'd expect to see things like LinkedIn are all great places to get connected and get visibility. And that's not only for students interested in internships, that's for alumni interested in, in career opportunities as we've really readied ourselves for our future growth. And again, we've had fantastic growth within the last five years for sure within the US. Um, we had a stint of 20 weeks at number one in sugar you know, we're excited about that continued growth. And so we've actually continued to add commercial talent in our business, sales, marketing. Um, we've also added in some of those functions where we're gonna really need to be able to build for scale, like finance, human resources, um, IT, project management. So I would encourage people to take a look because while we have certain roles that are open right now that we're looking to fill, um, we're gonna have more and we've got them scheduled throughout the year. Uh, best way to stay attuned is, is that way.
Awesome, Bobatu. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything within our partnership. Thank you to Haribo for committing to our community, and we look forward to continuing developing and growing alongside with you.